Welcome to Hello Experts, where we unravel the fascinating world of tank tracks. Join us as we delve into the intricate details, engineering marvels, and incredible capabilities of these powerful treads that propel tanks across diverse terrains. From design insights to historical significance, we have got your tank track curiosity covered. Buckle up and embark on a journey with us into the herd of armored mobility. A tank is an armored fighting vehicle designed for combat on land. It is equipped with weapons and tracks that allow it to move over rough terrains. The armor is provided to ensure that the crew is protected from shrapnel and small arm fires, which are the main causes of battlefield casualties. The tank's tracks are an essential part of the vehicle's design as they provide traction and stability on uneven ground. Tank tracks, also known as the continuous tracks, constitute a propulsion system employed in the tracked vehicles. These tracks run on a continuous band of treads or tracklets driven by multiple wheels. The expansive surface of these tracks offers superior weight distribution compared to steel or rubber tires, allowing tracked vehicles to navigate soft terrains with reduced risk of getting stuck. In contemporary applications, continuous tracks can be crafted from soft belts of synthetic rubber reinforced with steel wires, particularly in lighter agricultural machinery. Alternatively, a more traditional and widely used type involves a solid chain track composed of steel plates, often referred to as caterpillar thread or tank thread. This type is preferred for robust construction and heavy military vehicles. The durable metal plates comprising the tracks exhibit resistance to wear and damage, surpassing the capabilities of rubber tires. While aggressive treads provide excellent traction on soft surfaces, they can be detrimental to paved surfaces. To address this, some metal tracks are equipped with rubber pads for use on paved terrains. Most chain tracks, apart from soft rubber belts, employ a rigid mechanism to evenly distribute the load across the entire space between the wheels, minimizing deformation. This design allows even the heaviest vehicles to move effortlessly akin to a terrain on its straight tracks. The rigid mechanism initially developed by the Honsby & Sons in 1904 and later popularized by the Caterpillar Tractor Company during the World War I with the advent of tanks is now a ubiquitous feature in vehicles like snowmobiles, tractors, bulldozers, excavators and tanks. While the concept of continuous tracks traces back to 1830s, its practical application has evolved influencing the mobility of a wide range of the tracked vehicles over the years. When tank tracks are damaged, a systematic process is followed for replacement. Routine inspections identify rear brackets or other issues. Track tension is adjusted to maintain proper contact with the wheel. If damage is localized, the affected section is removed involving loosening the tension and disengaging the track from the driver, sprocket and idler wheel. Individual damaged links are then replaced with the new ones and the entire track may be replaced if necessary. After replacement, the track tension is adjusted according to the specifications to ensure proper alignment and weight distribution. Tanks undergo testing to validate the functionality of the new tracks, often including short test drives. Regular maintenance, including lubrication and inspections, is critical to extending the lifespan of tank tracks and preventing unexpected failures. This comprehensive approach carried out by trained personnel or the specialized technicians contributes to the overall reliability and performance of a tank's continuous tracks. Here are some important facts about the tank track, puncture and how it occurs. Tank tracks are made of steel plates or soft belts of synthetic rubber reinforced with the steel wires. Tank tracks can't be punctured or torn and are more resistant in military combat. Tank tracks can be damaged by certain ground surfaces or prolonged use. Constantly driving the equipment over curbs can cause the tracks to detrack. The tracks could also lose chunks of its rubber until tears and gauges cause the rubber to completely fail. Constantly running the heavy machinery across gravel can also cause the tracks to wear out or tear faster. Tank tracks can also ride off their gauge wheels, idler or, or sprockets which can cause them to jam or to come completely off the guide system. This is called a thrown track. Jam tracks may become so tight that the track 
men need to be broken before a repair is possible, which requires either explosives or special tools. Prolonged use places enormous strains on the drive transmission and the mechanics of the tracks, which must be overhauled or replaced regularly. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.